From the new Channel 5 Network, here are tonight's headlines. I'm Emily Luxon. Accused Waffle House shooter Travis Ranking may represent himself if a case ever goes to court. Ranking has pleaded not guilty to all charges and has been found competent to stand trial. Judges are working to make sure he is given an attorney, fearing he could appeal he had poor legal defense. No trial date has been set. The family of a man killed in the Waffle House shooting is suing the city. Aquila De Silva's family claims dispatchers sent first responders to the wrong location. City officials say Waffle House was a new location and not yet entered into the 911 center directory. And the only one that popped up was nine miles away from the scene. The De Silva family is also suing Travis Ranking and his father, Jeffrey. Tullahoma's police chief has resigned after pleading guilty to tampering with evidence. Paul Blackwell pleaded guilty to trying to cover up details about a car crash involving his son. He will not be able to serve as a police officer for the rest of his life and will serve four years probation. It's better to be safe than sorry. That's the message behind the Nashville Fire Department's brand new Ambu bus. The school bus turned emergency vehicle can be used in the event of a mass casualty situation. It can also help out with mass evacuations and is capable of being a temporary shelter for first responders. Now with a check of your forecast, here's meteorologist Bree Smith. Milder night tonight than what you woke up to Monday morning. Temperatures only dipping into the 50s. You woke up in the 40s on Monday, so this is a solid 10 degrees on the milder side of things to get you out the door. Lots of sunshine back into the 80s. It's going to be another beautiful day, three in a row for us. Now as we head towards the weekend or as we head towards the middle of your work week, that's when things begin to change. Clouds on the increase Tuesday night into Wednesday. First chance for rain is late Wednesday night. Unfortunately, scattered storms look to be widespread during the evening hours of Thursday for round one of the draft.